Hello everybody, this is Paul. Thank you for watching today. This lesson I'll be explaining how to find the midpoint using the midpoint formula. So I went ahead and wrote down the midpoint formula and I'll be explaining how to use it by example here in just a moment. But uh, the midpoint formula is used when we want to find the center of a line segment or the point that is directly in the middle of two other points. So let's go ahead and start our example here. We're going to find the midpoint between the points 1, 1 and 3, 5. I already went ahead and plotted both of these points. Um, as you can see, this has an x component of 1, a y component of 1, so where those two projections cross is the point 1, 1. This one has an x component of 3, so you go over 1, 2, 3 on the x-axis, and you go up 5 on the y-axis, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and where these two projections cross gives you the point 3, 5. And let me just go ahead and label this x and y so it's clear. So we want to find the midpoint between these two points. And the answer is actually going to be the same as the center of the line segment connecting these two points. So either way you want to think about it, the point that's directly in the middle of these two or the center of this line segment. So either one you're looking for, it'll give you the same answer. So let's go back to the midpoint formula. It was x1 plus x2 divided by 2, comma, y1 plus y2 divided by 2. So really, this is in the form of a point. This is the x component of the point, and this is the y component of the midpoint. So basically we just need to figure out what our x1, x2, y1, and y2 are, and then we can simplify. So we're just going to go ahead and rename this point x1, y1. And this one we're going to rename x2, y2. So I could have named these ones x2, y2, and these ones x1, y1, and it doesn't really matter which way I do it. And the midpoint formula is going to give you the same answer either way. So just take your pick. As long as one of them is both 1's and the other one is both 2's, you'll do fine. So let's go ahead and write down x1 here. Now x1 is the left hand side or the x component, so it refers to the left hand side or the x component of this point, which is a 1. And x2 refers to the x component or the left hand side of this point, so that gives us the 3. So now we can build the x component of our midpoint. x1 plus x2 is simply just 1 plus 3 and then that's divided by the 2. And so now we want to find our y1 and our y2. And so y1 refers to the right hand side or the y component of this point, which is a 1. And the y2 refers to the right hand side or the y component of this point, so that's a 5. So then really y1 plus y2 is simply 1 plus 5. And then that's divided by our 2. So we have the midpoint, but let's go ahead and simplify it. 1 plus 3 is simply 4, and then that's still divided by the 2. And the 1 plus 5 is a 6, which is divided by the 2. And we can further simplify 4 divided by 2 simply gives us 2. 6 divided by 2 gives us 3. And there we have it, we have our simplified midpoint. And so this is going to be the point directly between these two points or in the center of this line segment. So let's go ahead and plot it. This has an x component of 2. So starting on the x-axis at 0, go over 1, 2. We'll just draw our little component dot here. And a y component of 3, starting at 0, going up 1, 2, 3 on the y-axis. And so connecting these two projections right here should land us right in the center of this line segment. And it looks
looks like it does. And so where these two projections cross, we put the point there, which represents our midpoint, two, three. And as you can see, it falls directly in the center of these two points, or in the center of this line segment. So there you go. That was an example on how to use the midpoint formula to find the midpoint of a line segment or the midpoint of two points. So thank you for watching this video tutorial. You can also watch all of my videos on learnmathtutorials.com. And anyway, thank you for watching, and I hope you've enjoyed this lesson today. And we'll see you next time. Have a great day.